Hey everybody! Well I know it's been a really long time since I've done a video, but all for good reasons. The first being, of course, as you can sort of see from the background, I think, that I have changed locations. I am down at my beach house for the summer, so I was busy getting ready to move down. Absolutely gorgeous as I'm looking into the camera. I'm also looking off to the side to see my friends down there playing So I definitely want to get this done and I want to get back out there to join them The other reason was because I of course went traveling hence the title of the video I had promised my daughter that at the end of the school year She just finished her second year of university that I would take her off on a special trip And I promised that I would take her to London and to Paris and I did we went we had a phenomenal time We were very lucky the weather in both London and Paris was just phenomenal. I decided to do this time, instead of doing a plane between countries, we decided to do the Eurostar to take the train, and that is definitely the way to travel. I have to say, this was one of the best train rides I've ever been on. Even though it was high speed and we went a very long distance, it was really one of the smoothest rides. We took it really early in the morning. We got up early, we got ready, we got onto the train, we had a little something to eat before we got on, and then we actually napped so that we could hit the ground running when we got to Paris and not waste any time trying to get ourselves settled. We checked into our hotel, sort of threw our bags down, and we were off and running. Just had an absolutely phenomenal time. So of course we did a lot of sightseeing. We did go to the top of the Eiffel Tower. How can you not when you're in Paris? Of course, absolutely phenomenal museums and of course some of the best food ever. Oh my gosh. You definitely have to go on a diet before you go to Paris because once you're there, all bets are off. You have to try everything. Food is unbelievable. And of course, the shopping is pretty good too. Now the thing that I wanted to do most in Paris, of course, was to go into the pharmacies. And I have to say to anybody that's not experienced it, when you come back from being in Paris and going to a pharmacy and you go to a CVS or a Walgreens or a Rite Aid or whatever it is that is in your community, you just want to shake somebody and say, why? Why can't we have what they have in Paris? The pharmacies are absolutely amazing. They're these beautiful, old world type of stores, just absolutely beautiful surroundings, beautiful people working there, beautiful display of the products, and it's just a different experience than what we have and think of actually for a pharmacy here. So quickly to start the review, or that, I guess that wasn't that quick. Uh, the first thing that I got was something that I had read from Caroline, I think it's Hiron, she's the Beauty Mouth Blogger. I'll put, of course, everything and everyone that I mentioned down below in the information box. She does primarily a skincare blog as opposed to a makeup blog, and for those of you that follow Pixie Woo, they actually did an interview with her. She's absolutely phenomenal. And one of the things that she recommended, and I knew that I wanted to pick up, was from Emma Harning. It's the Morning Cleansing Balm, and this is everything that she says and everyone else and more. The most disappointing thing about it is that I love it so much. I have a whole bunch of cleansers that I was promising myself that I would get through this summer, not going to happen. This is just unbelievable. I'm going to take it out quickly to show you guys. I wish you guys could smell what this smells like. It is just absolutely divine. It has sort of a very light, fresh, maybe a little bit lemony scent. Just absolutely love it. She suggests that you put this Oh, I just had to take an extra sniff. She suggests that you put this onto dry skin, and I think she suggests that with most of the cleansers, and rub it in and then take it off with water. Oh my God, your skin is, just won't believe what your skin feels like after you use that, absolutely amazing. The other thing that she recommended, and they call them in the UK flannels, and we call them here in the United States washcloths. She suggests using a washcloth. So Emma Harding does do a three professional cloths, comes in a box like this. I did pick that up and I also opened it so that you can see, actually you can see the little logo from Emma Hardy. It's just a plain washcloth but it's really cool and they're really nice because I love the fact that you can throw them in the washing machine and keep them really clean so definitely love that. The next thing that I picked up were some foundations that everybody raves about and picks up when they go overseas and it's from Bourjois. It's the Healthy Mix Serum. And I got it in 51 and 52. I know that Lisa Eldridge also shows this quite a bit and uses this in a lot of her tutorials. Now, I wasn't really sure about the color because the boots that I went to was really small and there weren't a lot of people there to help. So I picked up 51 and 52. 
51 is fairly light. I think 52 might be a little bit better color match for me, but I've been using them both. I've been using the 51 sort of as a highlighter and then the 52 sort of on the rest of my face. And then I've also used them as mixing them together to get a really good match. So I do like them. I'm not going to give you a review on anything yet because I haven't used anything long enough to really let you know exactly whether I would recommend it or not. Now when I was also in London I went to Selvages and they have a Shu Yamera counter which is really nice for us because we don't have them anymore here in the States. They're gone. We can only order online and they do have a counter there. So I picked up this really cute, I think I picked this up mostly for the packaging. It's an SPF from her. It's OB for Shu Yamera and let me go close enough so you can hopefully see the little design on it. I think that's really why I picked it up. I think I picked it up for the design. It's a mousse, and so I'm a little bit on the fence about this. So when you go to dispense this, quite a bit of it comes out, and I'm not really sure if I can control it enough, and then I'm afraid also that if I control it too much, I might not get enough of the product to really give myself the correct dosage that I need to have SPF on for the day. But I definitely couldn't pass up the packaging, so I did pick that up, and. It's nice, that's, that's all I'll say about it, it is nice. One of the things I did pick up in Paris, of course, was my Bioderma. I actually brought back six bottles. Yes, I know, I'm absolutely crazy. Generally when I travel, I travel with a carry-on, which I did this time, but what both my daughter and I did was we took a folding duffel bag and we put it on the bottom of our carry-on to have it just in case, yeah, just in case, like I didn't know I was bringing things back, I did drag back six bottles of Bioderma. Now I got four of the regular Kraline, the H2O, and then I got two bottles of the TS Kraline H2O, and I wanted to give that a try because this is the one that's supposed to be extra sensitive and I've heard some fairly good reviews on it, so I picked up two of those to give those a try. The other thing that I picked up is I picked up from Roger and Galet, or Roger Gallet, as we would probably say here in the United States, is one of their cream hydrant uh, body creams in Rose. And this is just this phenomenal body cream. The scent is amazing. I am super into the Rose scent now since I bought my Ren products. And this is equally as divine. It's just a wonderful, luxurious, you can see it's a fairly thick balm. I can turn it, it doesn't come out. Absolutely love that too. And while I was in that store, there was actually a special, a two for one on some soaps from the same company. And I couldn't pass it out. I was originally going to get it and give it out for gifts. And then I decided that I would keep it. And I've actually put some of the bars in my uh, guest bathroom at home. But just really so pretty. I want to open this up quickly so you can see. There's an orange scent, a rose scent, a green tea scent, and a flower scent. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty. I don't those. I don't have the prices because um, the prices generally aren't on them, or they weren't on them where I purchased them anyway. So I don't have the price to share with you. So the next thing I picked up was another cleanser. This is from a company called Pi P A I, and this is their dual action facial cleanser and eye makeup remover cleanser. And this is another nice cleanser, and you'll note that I'm saying nice because I tried the Emma Harding first, and I'm so in love with it that I just don't think anything is going to equal it now. But I do like this. I absolutely love the little packaging. I love the way that it's dispensed. Um, I have tried it once or twice. Nice cleanser. I think that the feeling of my skin after using the Emma Harding is just so divine that, it, as I say, I don't think there's going to be anything that can equal it. Another thing that I picked up is from uh, Avene. It's their SPF. This is actually, I think, a tinted moisturizer with an SPF of 50. I had seen a few blogs on it, plus I'd seen a few reviews on YouTube on it, so I wanted to pick that up and give it a try. I haven't tried it yet, but I have heard a lot of good things about it. Another item that I picked up is actually a serum, and I think I first heard about this from Nautical But Nice One, Giada. I think she was the one that spoke about it, and then I read quite a bit about it also before I went, and I'm never gonna be able to pronounce it as beautifully as Giada does. It's from Lerac. It's their Mesolift Serum. This is a ultra-vitamin enriched fresh serum and radiance booster. So I picked that up to try. I am super, super into skincare these days. Still into makeup, of course, so don't worry. And definitely, of course, still into makeup brushes. But I've been trying a whole bunch of new things, and 
I definitely had read a lot about this, so I wanted to give this a try. I'll try to get back to you guys as quickly as I can once I've used them, but I think I really need to use the things for at least a month or two to really give you a good indication of what my thoughts are and whether I really liked it or not. The next thing that I picked up is another SVF. This is from Suku. I actually had this, brought it with me on the trip and had just finished it. I love this SVF. This is amazing. This is not only great as a makeup base, but it's really also great just to be worn on its own. And the interesting thing about it being great for a makeup base is the fact that it's an SVF 50. And generally, higher SVFs for a makeup base don't really do that well. This one does. It has a little bit of a pink tone to it, which I absolutely love. So I stopped at Selfridges and I picked that up and I will definitely continue to pick that one up because I just love having that. The next thing that I picked up is a face mask. I haven't tried this yet. It's from Astolift. I'm not sure. I think maybe I read this also on Caroline Hiram's blog also. So I'll just quickly show you the box because I haven't even taken them out yet and tried them. But I am going to, and again, I will get back to you on that. I picked up a new bottle of perfume, still Chanel Number no. 5 because I love Chanel Number no. 5. But when I was at the London airport, I saw that this was a uh, new formula. It's their Eau de Premier. It's called, it's a just a much lighter version of the Chanel Number no. 5. Perfect, perfect for the summer. Absolutely love the bottle. I love glass bottles. I think they're so elegant. I love just the applicator. I love everything about it. And of course, it has the Chanel, famous Chanel number no. 5 scent, which I absolutely adore, so I was very happy about that. Last two products, and then I'll let you guys go, and I'll head out to the beach. I picked up a lip liner, the one that Lisa Eldridge talks about all the time. It's one of the must-haves. It's from Boots number no. 7 in the color of Nude. I won't show it to you because it is just basically a nude lip pencil. Haven't used it yet, but I'm definitely going to try it. I actually lost my Kevin Aquan one on my trip, which I was really sad about. I'm probably going to pick up a new one, but I think I want to try this first, and if I like that, I'll use that before I pick up a new one. And then, of course, drumroll please, because I don't want to disappoint anybody to think that I did not buy a new makeup brush. Of course I bought a new makeup brush. I can't even tell you guys what the name of it is because it's not on it or what it is in the line. So I will definitely put that information down below or perhaps across the screen. But it's from RMK and there is a RMK counter in, I think I was in Selfridges when I saw this. You guys have got to go to Selfridges and Harrods if you're in London to their makeup counters. They are to die for. As much as I love the pharmacies in Paris, I love the makeup counters in Selfridges and Harrods in London. Just absolutely amazing. So I just want to quickly show you this brush. I just want to check if there's a number on it. There isn't a number on it. Just amazing little brush. The size of it, the hair is absolutely amazing. Definitely different than anything else I had in my collection. So you knew I was going to buy it just for that reason alone. Or at least I knew I was going to buy it just for that reason alone. And I think that is it. I feel like I've been speaking like 100 miles an hour. And if I have, I apologize. It's really been a long time since I've done a video, so it's, it's almost like being new at it again. One last thing, though, that I do want to show you, because my daughter doesn't generally buy makeup. Um, really no need to, because she can sit down at my makeup counter anytime and just have her, to her heart's content, use whatever she wants. So she primarily picked out uh, clothes. She got a really nice uh, leather book bag in Paris. And then we found, pretty much the last day we were in Paris, the most exquisite hair accessory shop, all handmade. And she loves headbands. She buys them all the time. And actually, the, when we first saw the store, it was closed. And we just got to get it before we had to get our train back to London. So we were really lucky. And oh my god, I have to, got to show you this. This is just one piece that she picked up. Now it's very plain as far as the headband is, but I'm going to go in really close so you can see that flower. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my god, it's just so pretty. She actually has blue-green eyes, so it couldn't be a better color choice for her. And it's just, oh my god, it's so gorgeous. I, I wish I was into wearing them because I would definitely be wearing them. But I generally use my glasses to keep my hair out of my face, as I'm sure you guys have seen in many different videos. So that's it. Those are the things that I picked up on my trip. As I said, I went through most of the list of the things that I wanted. A few things that I didn't get, but that's okay. There's always another time and another trip sort of hoping that I'm going to be able to sneak away with my sister-in-law in October and maybe head back to Paris and then take the train over to Belgium. Of course, I'm going to go makeup shopping and she wants to go chocolate shopping.
I don't think either one of them would be a bad day. So that's it. I hope everybody is doing really well. Any questions or comments, of course, leave them down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. For all of you here in the United States, please have a wonderful, fun-filled 4th of July, but please be safe. Take care, everybody. Speak to you soon.